Hey, what's up? How you doing? I made this. Well, I didn't make it. I painted it. I painted this whole thing with chalk paint and waxed it. Look at that. I had so much fun doing this little DIY project. We had this old cabinet that we got in England and we kept it the same colour that we bought it as. We quite liked how rustic it looked but one of the hinges on the front door was loose and so I figured since we're going to fix the door why don't we give it a new coat of paint and I chose my favourite colour green. Well, it's actually called Fireworks. It's by this company called Country Chic. I found it on Amazon. That's also where I got the wax. It did the job, but as you will see later on in the video, it wasn't the best wax that I could have chosen. I also got this mini brush set. I chose the small one because it's just easier to get into the nooks and crannies of like the little cabinet that I have but I highly recommend getting a bigger brush if you're gonna do this on a bigger project because it doesn't cover much surface area. So those were the materials that I used for this project. As I mentioned before, I just cleaned up the cabinet, used a all-purpose cleaner and a microfiber cloth just to wipe it dry and then I got started I started on the top because I figured it just makes sense to start top and go down and then I wasn't 100% sure if I really wanted to do the inside but once I had painted the outside and you could see the inside was two different tones, the, the dark and the light where the drawers are. So I painted the inside as well. So this is what the cabinet looked like after the first coat. I obviously had to do a second coat because there were a lot of streaks in the paint. So it just made sense to double up and make sure that it's a lot more opaque. I thought that I would have to tape up the hardware, but it turns out that it was actually just really easy to unscrew by hand. So once all the hardware was removed, I painted the door and the drawers. And then while waiting for the drawers and the door to dry, I did the second coat on the cabinet. I don't know if you can tell on the left there, there's a few streaks that you can see through the paint was on the right where I've put the second coat you can kind of see like it's a lot more opaque I let both coats of paint dry overnight and here I have it out on my balcony there's a few spots that got scratched doesn't really bother me if you're doing it and you get a couple scratches, you can just paint over them to fix it, but didn't really bother me, so I just carried on with the next step. The next step was to put on the wax. So again, this is the wax that I chose to use, the Folk Art Home Decor Wax. I wouldn't recommend it. I would suggest you just get uh, a better quality wax. Anything but this brand. Um, I didn't do any research before I bought it. I just bought the cheapest thing on Amazon and <laughs> it did the job and I'm not really bothered with the outcome but if you're looking for something a lot more neater I'd recommend first of all to use less wax than how much I'm about to use because <laughs> I was just too lazy to be precise and I was just slathering on the wax. When it dried it hardened in clumps. So I just left them on the balcony to dry. It was nice that we got some sunshine right onto the cabinets. That's why I left it messy like that because I thought if it's in the sun maybe the wax will melt in the sun but I was obviously wrong. And so coupled with the wax not being good quality it didn't dry so well like in the corners it was like 
blue tack it was like pulling out gum basically if you don't want that to happen again just use a different wax So once I was satisfied with the removal of the chunky bit of wax, I went on to put the drawers back in, put on the hardware that I'd taken off, and then I put the door back on, and then I put the hardware back on the door as well. And that's it. I absolutely love this cabinet. I always did anyway, but it being in this beautiful color now, it's just changed it up. It's like we have a whole new piece of furniture. I love how it looks, it's just perfect, it's exactly what I wanted. I totally recommend revamping your furniture with the coat of chalk paint. So let me know what you thought of my quick little DIY project. I say quick, it wasn't really quick, it took me about four days. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!